This is the Jim Harrison Maiden Hurdle. Two miles and five furlongs this time. Dancing Dad, Kevin Meenahan. Even top Stu Gray, Lord Glenn Carraig, Martin Leland, one man Darren Howes, Swiss Road, Alex Cherry. Comes to fruition, Joshua Sutherland. Lebby Kuma, Darren Thompson. Montrose, David Robertson. And never Murray Derek Hinton. They're already racing. And down towards the first of the obstacles in this two mile five furlong race. I think it was. It's a hurdle, is it? And even top is pulling for his head. Dancing Dad and Montrose together. Sort themselves out through the first couple of furlongs and make their way towards the first of 11 lines of hurdles that they're going to take in this race. And over it they go. And they're all safely over that one with Dancing Dad in the lead. Oh dear, so we've got one or two Dancing Dads watching. And uh, one's in front from even top in the pale jacket. Montrose is getting a bit closer. David Robertson's football team, Montrose. Where he comes from, maybe, or is he a fan of the rock band, Montrose and Space Station number five? Anyway, it's Dancing Dad who skips over number three. With Montrose in second, even top is third, and Levy Kuma, one man, is next. Then Never Murray, Swiss Road comes to fruition, and Lord Glen Carraig is the back marker. And all over number four, and Dancing Dad's in front. Three lengths to Montrose in second. And even top on Levy Kuma. One man in the orange jacket with the black sleeves as they pass the winning post with a circuit to go. And Dancing Dad's in front. To Montrose second. The white sleeved Levy Kuma is third. The orange jacketed one man next, even top in the pale colours on the inside and the pink of Never Murray for Derek Hinton who to name his horses after other trainers in the league and that one's presumably a nod in the direction of Jim Murray then Lord Glen Carraig in the purple jacket on the outside the black and red hoops have come to fruition on the rail and the back marker is just Swiss Road for Alex Cherry who silks everybody he's particularly fond of how Doug thinks they're the best ones in the league and it's Dancing Dad Skipping over number five. In front, by a couple of lengths to one man. Who's going well in second. Levy Coomer and Montrose next. Then even top, Lord Glencarey comes to fruition. Swiss Road and finally, Never Murray is just about the back marker. They've got a little over a mile and a quarter still to race. And Dancing Daddy is in front. Dancing his way home to Montrose in second. Slow jump by that one. Seen one man just about regain second place. Dancing Dad, it is in front. Montrose going better on the flat than over the flights at the moment. One man third, Libby Kuma four as they come down to the seventh. And over that one, a slow jump by the leader has allowed Montrose to jump through into the lead. And Montrose on the outside of Dancing Dad, who now reasserts. Even Top is getting closer. Then comes, comes to fruition. Libby Kuma's after that one. Never Murray, one man's lost his place a little bit. Lord Glen Craig is now going to go and try, up the, try and go up the inside. And Swiss Road is still the back marker at the moment. Montrose, it is in front by a length to Dancing Dad second. Even top third comes to fruition four. Then Never Murray, Lebe Kuma, one man, Lord Glen Craig and Swiss Road. They've only got six furnace to go and they're virtually an Indian final. And it's Montrose in front. From Dancing Dad second, even top third, comes to fruition four. Nevermore is trying to get closer. Lord Glen Craig is going to look, try and look for a good split up the inside. But it's Dancing Dad now trying to regain the lead. Montrose though has now got the rail. Montrose and Dancing Dad, even tops trying to get closer. Then comes to fruition. Lord Glen Craig and Nevermore. Lebe Coombe's trying to get back into it. One man after that one over the eighth. They've got three more to take now then. And it's Dancing Dad in the lead again. Dancing Dad for Montrose. Here comes Lemmy Coomer and Lord Glen Carragh now coming through with a storming looking run as they come down towards the final three furlongs. And the third from home. And it's Lemmy Coomer who lands in the lead from Lord Glen Carragh and Dancing Dad. Then Montrose. Then comes to fruition and never Murray. But it's Lemmy Coomer in front now. Racing down towards the second last. Lemmy Coomer's over it. Well, Lord Glen Carragh is 
trying to close in second. They're inside the final two furlongs. It's Lemikuma in front. Lord Glencarag is in second. These two are clear of Dancing Dead and come to fruition. This is the final flight. The leader stood off it but got away from it well. Lemikuma, Lord Glencarag's trying to close. So too has come to fruition, but Lemikuma looks like he's going to take this one. They race down towards the final half furlong. Lemikuma, Lord Glencarag trying to reel him in. Then comes to fruition, racing up towards the line. It's going to be Lemikuma who's going to hold on and take it. Lemikuma takes it on a fast finish and comes to fruition. Lord Glencarag was third. Montrose fourth and then Dancing Dad after that one. Swiss Road probably didn't pass a horse in the entire race. Lebekuma takes it for Darren Thompson, comes to fruition for Joshua Sutherland was second. Lord Glen Craig for Martin Lydon was third. And Montrose for David Rawson fourth with Nevermorey, Derek Hinton in fifth.